Okay, alright. It looks like the game did start. Okay. So, game started. We're just waiting for the timer at the top then. Do you guys see the timer on your watch screen? I'm gonna refresh. Okay, there we go. Okay, never mind. I just needed a refresh. All right, cool. So we got 59 minutes on the clock. All six documents are unlocked. They're going at it. Uh, one of the things that ca catches my eye right now is MFO man in the CSS. This is really interesting. He's targeting everything that's not an image. Wow, I haven't seen that one. Uh, wondering what his thought process here is, especially since images uh, aren't really going to be used here in the objectives, unless obviously they want to over uh, overextend, which is a good thing in this game. You know, by adding some other things that are completely optional, but everything has to be pure CSS including the chocolate in the box and everything. So, and actually I'm gonna check up on uh, Info Man in a bit, make sure that he understands that because I don't want him to go down a, a, this path early on. Uh, all right, so on the, uh, let's look at the HTML. So on the blue team, he's already structuring everything out. Looks like we're doing the box in rows, uh, or like pure, pure HTML. I don't know if we're gonna, eventually convert that to JavaScript or if JavaScript's just gonna target it by by class or ID but for now it looks like we're just doing the grid system in static uh, HTML which I I think is a good idea especially considering the fact that uh, you know it's gonna give it's gonna take some time for JavaScript to actually get that part of the code to work so you know obviously CSS is gonna need some stuff to do in the meantime and this will uh, you know by by Sigurds putting the grid in there right away in case you can have some elements to target and then you know when javascript is ready they could convert it all right and on the the red team html uh, we have the chocolate box we're working on the lid there after the lid oh we got two lids three lids a bunch of lids a bunch of lids i'm really curious what their thought pro red team seems a little lost to me at the moment. Okay, what's going on? Why? Why this many lids? I don't get it. And okay, I'll, I'm gonna check up on the red team in a bit. I I'm worried about them, but I do like the fact that Info Man is using a grid, like an actual grid system, using <laughs> display grid. That's actually the first time we've seen display grid here on the show um titan what's what's titan doing titan's kind of uh standing idly by i'm gonna can one of my mods check up on oh he's thinking okay okay so titan is on the board he's just thinking That's fine. Let them think. Let them think. Okay. So, okay. Oh, we got rid of all those lids. That's nice. Uh, I, I'm still confused why we have more than one lid. Yeah, we're still we're still doing the lids. I, okay, maybe the okay maybe I'm just I, I have a f misunderstanding of what the lid is in his scenario. So a lid could be a slot in, in this case. So we'll just assume it's a slot. I'm sure that's That's what he's doing Because <laughs> we have a hierarchy here, so I'm okay, so I'm thinking the, the the lid at the top the outer container Yeah, see I don't know honestly, I don't know. I, I'm not understanding the structure. I'm really curious to see how this plays out a lot of activity though on the blue team Wow so, we're almost done. Okay, we are done with the, the grid system. No, I think he's missing a single row. 
Yeah, he's missing one more row. But we're, get, we're getting the tooltip in here in the CSS. The box is brown. We got a border on there. We're using flex to handle the grid system. The rows are going to have 90% in width, uh, which is enough to wrap it. We got the flex wrap on here. Um, not sure why not 100%. That, that is going to leave some... Uh, mar he probably wants that margin on the left and right. Uh, okay, yeah. 95 is going to give a little less margin, which is uh, a, a good idea here. Alright, and then on the blue team's JavaScript, a lot of JavaScript going on. Uh, okay, so over here we got the array of chocolates. Uh, so each of these are the rows. Wait, no, 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 these aren't the rows. Sorry, these are the different types of chocolates there are. Because uh, that's objective number two. Objective number two. So a CSS is going to have to actually style each of these chocolates, which I'm excited to see. Oh, red team's already doing that. That's awesome. All right, the next uh, thing we see here in the JavaScript is create chocolates. So that's for each item. Now, this is probably going to get uh, inserted inside of each of these. That's the idea here. Betting is now open. And I think due to the inactivity of JavaScript, it uh, definitely um, might play a role in what you guys might be betting for. I kind of want to see what Blue Team's site looks like right now. So this is what Blue Team's site looks like at the moment. We have uh, the, the brown part is the box and uh, the blue outline's probably the row. I like that he's putting an outline on there so you could easily see what's where. And the white squares are the boxes. Cool, cool. Let's uh, check out the red team now. Uh, refresh. Okay, here we go. So, Red Team's website is a circle. Uh, so, this circle is probably a chocolate. Yep, that's a chocolate. And he's probably going to decorate it and all that fun stuff. We have the different lids. Okay, so the lids are the slots. Okay, it's just confusing because one of the objectives is an actual lid. Okay. I'm going to go back to Le Code. If you guys want to see the screen, you can go to... Uh, Bits, please just subscribe. Every game from Season 3 so far has been absolute fire. Keep it coming. Thank you so much for that. Bits, please. Like an advent calendar. Yeah, yeah. Advent calendars are cool. It makes sense. They just need to basically have an actual lid, though. Like, to encompass the entire box. That's all. That's all. They, they can call it whatever they want. But at the end of the day, they got to do that. So, I just realized that um, I open this uh, fire... So I opened this uh, website here that you see with the code in Firefox, which I actually should have opened in Chrome, I think. Hold up. 
Yeah, one sec. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna do something. There we go. Now, the reason why I did, uh, I, I had to change something because uh, I have an automatic scene switch when, I, when I'm when i looking at the game screen here. And so that was disabled since I was in a different browser. All right, so we have all these different lids, which are the slots. Uh, this chocolate here, we're, we're just replicating the single chocolate one that we saw earlier when we looked at their site. These need to be... Uh, eventually randomize but they don't have any javascript help at the moment so they're really gonna have to do as much as they can yeah i don't know uh, so last i heard javascript on red is thinking so i mean i've seen it before where yeah i mean even with 15 minutes into the game you know players can still catch up but uh i i am a little worried about red at the moment we are pretty deep but uh he is talking to his team if you're listening into the discord right now you'll you'll know that he is active i mean who knows he could be a legend so on the uh blue team we have the lid and we'll, we're doing a skew, huh? We have an open state for the lid, but we don't have, we're not doing anything yet animation wise to get rid of it. Uh, we have a common and out text at the moment for what looks to be like a hero for the website. Okay, and on the blue team JavaScript, we have, we're, st we're working on that create chocolates function. Oh, we got the tooltip in there as well. Cool, so we got the chocolate name and description. And up here, oh, this is new. So uh, that, that list that we saw earlier now has different properties inside of them. So we got the milk chocolate, white chocolate, liquor, liqueur, sorry, dark, and coconut. Nice, and then the description. Just some test stuff in there for now. No point in wasting brain brain time trying to figure out what the description is at this point in time, though. When HTML is has nothing else to do, then I would recommend HTML assist in that in that case. <laughs> my code monkey. I, I do need my code monkey. Like, I could understand generally what's going on, but, like, why it's working, I, d I don't, I don't know. That's not me. Alright, let's look at the blue team, see what we got. Sweet. We, we still got the standard border on the left and right, as you can see here. Um, yo, we didn't reset the pages, uh, padding. Classic. What do you guys think about that? Is that the new trend now? All right, so we have that. So this blue outline that's kind of overlaying the top of the box here, that's that's the lid. Oh, I know this because of the skew property that we saw earlier. Uh, and then we have the different slots. We have the tool tips, right? These are the tool tips, I think, yeah. Chocolate image? Whoa. No, oh, it can't be an image. Well, I'm sure they know. We'll see. Maybe they're just calling it an image. Let's look at the red team. Nice. That 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 kind of looks like a chocolate box to me. You just gotta correct the colors and stuff. Uh, and then I think, oh, are they going to do separate lids for each? But oh. The 
yeah, uh, if they do that, that's fine. Um, I feel like that's a little harder. Like, it'll definitely be a little more work on JavaScript to do that, implement that, but, uh... We got the lid swing animation here. Nice. And uh, do we see that animation being applied anywhere yet? No, not yet, but uh, uh, it's probably gonna go on one of these soon, one of these lids. We don't have a general lid class for any of these. On blue team HTML, looks like we're we're done here. We got everything uh, laid out. The and then we have this that he left uncommented. I'm not sure if he's actually going to implement it in the site or not. He might as well. And on red team HTML, I mean we have everything. We just we gotta have. Uh, what I would do is probably at, at the very least change this chocolate classes to uh, different numbers so that a CSS has some extra things to target. Uh, okay, alright, I see here. So, Info Man is just targeting everything directly within here and that's kind of how he's handling it. Which is fine. I mean, you, you could do little tricks like this so that uh, you don't need to add it in the HTML. No, I mean, HTML should be doing some other things right now. At this point, um, maybe, maybe he could even assist JavaScript. Looking at Sidos's javascript here so it's the create chocolate uh so okay so this is the event listener for when you actually click the the specific chocolate that we saw on objective number four it's gonna open the tooltip and i want to see how they place it uh the the tooltip because it has to be right next to the actual chocolate Oh, well, we are inserting the, the HTML uh, right at it. So, okay. I mean, it's just because I see this here that's throwing me off. All right. Let's take a look at Blue Team, see where they're at now. It looks like it's they got the randomization on because I'm just refreshing it a few times. And right now we just have the uh, tooltip kind of overlaying it at the moment. Well, okay. So each chocolate is actual, just, but basically just the color. And he's probably going to add detail in, uh, to it in a bit. Does anyone want to do red JavaScript? I think uh, Titan got overwhelmed here with the JavaScript objectives. That's okay. At least he tried. But um, at this point, 
we can actually bring in another JavaScript developer who's up for the challenge. You'll have a time disadvantage, but red team needs you. All right, so we have an objective requested on a blue team. Randomly fill each slot of the box using the five different chocolates created. All right, so we'll take a look at their website again. So I'm refreshing. And yeah, I mean, we saw this earlier. I just wanted to make sure that it still worked. So yes, they, they did complete that. So they secured that point there. Good job, blue team. We're going to switch to a different playlist. I like what I see here on Red Team CSS. I saw some cool activity. Um, all right, so here's something, though. On, on Red Team CSS, we kind of have, like, duplicate styles, like, the same width and height. Though, he might have a point here. He might be tweaking these uh, ever so slightly for each chocolate. So in that case, well, he shouldn't be typing in his own editor. If he's still playing, he, he, he shouldn't be typing in his own editor. Reason why is we need to monitor everything and he can't copy and paste it. All right, now we're seeing some specific styles go on these chocolates on the blue team. Yeah, I'm fine with him copying and pasting what he has and then, and then starting from there. I'm fine with that just because we don't have time at the moment. But I do need him to start coding in this document that we have here on the screen. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the blue team. So, all right, we see this lid here. We have like a little hover animation for each chocolate. Yeah, so sometimes the, the this border, border's not always the best option. Uh, there are some tricks you can do to prevent this. Obviously that looks weird when you, uh, it's just cause it's growing in size. Yeah, that is a new rule. I was just thinking about that as well, Immortal. All right, we're going to refresh this. All right, this is the... Oh, this is cool. So this is the red team's chocolate. I kind of see what, what they're doing here. So... Okay, so yeah, chocolate's in each lid. Honestly, they only need a single lid, but uh, this is cool too. So we just have like standard CSS colors in here for now. And then uh, this will look really good as soon as he adds like a, either a background pattern to this box or yeah, just basically pick a different color, which he may have done already. I'm going to refresh. 
Yes, he did. Yeah, I mean, you see right there, it already looks better. Um, this isn't exactly a seamless pattern, so unfortunately, you know, it does kind of break the aesthetic a little bit there. He could easily just do background size cover, but at the same, then, then the pattern's gonna be really large. And so, I mean, I, I think it's better than this at least. I don't know, I don't know actually. Uh, if you use your imagination and pretend the, the line, uh, the cutoff point's not there, maybe this is better. Sure. Hey, Titan, are you going to paste your code into the chat? Or, uh, code? He's not he's in here. Gone. He's in the gaming. Oh. So, was that an accident? Uh, no. I, I uh, he's, he's been switched out, apparently. Okay, hold on. I'll put him in. No, no. You don't have to. We're, uh, we're swapping Titan out for Bits, please. Okay, yeah. okay. Thanks, Bits, please. Uh, You're welcome. Well, what? All right, so Bits Please is coming in clutch for the red team. Uh, Titan, uh, you know, hopefully this doesn't discourage you from, uh, you know, competing again in the future. Uh, Guys, if you're if you're wanting to play, it could be a little nerve-wracking, I you know, with all these people watching, but it's all for fun. No one's here to judge you. Um, and I hope that we can make this more approachable in the future for you guys. But uh, yeah, Bits Place is coming in clutch right now. And uh, if you bet it on the blue team, which was pretty much everyone, then you should be worried. You should be worried. Because there's a chance that red team could could steal this W real quick. There's a chance. And also, um, with uh, red team, uh, that nah, we'll just leave. It. We'll just leave it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I mean, red. So bits place is coming in with 30 minute time disadvantage. Let's see what. Oh, so this is what red team site last looked like, and we fresh, and whoa, <laughs> that's trippy. It could potentially look good. Wait, yeah, it could potentially look good. If he really did want to keep this pattern, he could probably darken this thing, like overlay this pattern with a darker, like a div that just kind of overlays it, you know? Kind of give it a sense of depth. I'm sorry for offending your eyes. Uh, all right, I'm refreshing the site. All right, the chocolate looks a little cleaner now. When I click, oh, we got the, they're working on the bonus objective. These savages, all right. You gotta get that double click listener in there. It's like somewhat buggy. It thinks I've eaten all the chocolates because it keeps resetting. We'll give them some time to work that out. But wow, they're working on the bonus objective already. I'm happy to see that Red Team is still working hard, even despite losing their JavaScript player. This is good because, you know, now that Bits Please is joining them, you know, at least they have a chance. We're doing some cool like detail. Like we got box shadows up in here on the red team. CSS. I wonder if he swapped out that background image. 
no, it's still the same background image. Oh, okay, so he's doing an inset box shadow. This is probably what CSS on blue team should do, you know, like, I mean, that border, you guys saw that border, increasing the border size, increase it on the outer. All right, I could do box sizing. Yeah. It basically increased the, the, the size of the box, which protruded it, which didn't look realistic. Whereas an inset would would help in this case. All right, we finally got bits please added to the document. Once he connects, he'll have full access to write. You can watch the you can watch the code and see the website by going to watch.dewars.tv. I posted the link in the chat. Definitely make use of this resource when you watch the show. What more can I do? If I could write in there, I'd tell him what he could do. Oh, awesome. All right, we see bits please is typing stuff and he's he's just going at it. He has 30 minutes to pull something off. Like and even if he doesn't get the bonus objective, that's still enough to get them in a position where they could win. Um because Info Man's been going at it with the styles So they could potentially win on UI. I know we have a lot of new viewers here, so I kind of want to fill you in on what's going to happen. So, so each objective is worth one point. As you see, blue team secured objective number three, so they have one point at the top of the screen here. Uh, but the bonus objective is actually worth two points. And the only way to get the bonus objective is to complete all four objectives above it and then that bonus objective will be unlocked. Each player is actually using um, our code editor here. It's like a custom code editor. Uh, and they're able to request that they've completed an objective within that, uh, within that editor. So it's kind of like built around this whole system here. It's really awesome. Uh, and another thing is after this ends, after the objective phase ends, like, you know, 26 minutes is up, then what will happen is uh, we're going to enter the vo user voting phase, and that's where you guys have a chance to actually contribute uh, your thoughts on what both teams have created here. We're going to be voting in two different, two different stages. We're going to be voting on UI and UX, so two different things. We'll be defining them. And the most amount of points you can earn in each of those phases is two, if you get a perfect score. So. There's definitely a chance. All right, we'll take a look at the blue team. All right, they got the lid here. Happy Mother's Day. Wow. Okay, I gotta say that was pretty cool. Though maybe maybe the lid shouldn't be there exactly, but that text looks that text looks awesome. I think it's just the way um, the way it gets skewed. It just really looks pretty cool. So uh, what I want to know is. If they're gonna change like the opat, I don't know. Like I don't understand the color colorization there. I'm sure they'll they're still playing with it. Um, I do have a couple thoughts that I want to say here, but I'm, I'm I'm trying to reserve some of these thoughts for later. But okay, we got the tooltip, so they still got some style things to work on. Oh man, 
these objectives has so much opportunity for bon uh, for user experience. Oh, he's doing a box shadow in here. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of what I meant um, about adding some depth. This guy definitely created some depth here. I, d I like what's going on. Um, though, maybe too much. Maybe the shadows are too harsh in my opinion. What we could do, what I would do at least, is um, I would add like an overlay over this whole box in here and just kind of give it an overall darker look and not even by much just slight just a slight uh, a pass has he done that actually hold up i don't know if that border box shadow is actually extending enough to do that no it's just an illusion yeah Oh okay, yeah, I mean like if you add an overlay over this whole thing and then just kind of eased it down on the box shadow, I think it would uh, you know, like be a little more pleasant. But overall, this is uh, I I get that this is a little hard to look at, so I'm I'm gonna go off of it for now. Uh, blue team is or sorry, red team is working on the modals, which is the tool tips. So as far ahead as blue team is, they, they only have one objective secured. And if they don't secure all the other objectives before the game is up, then I mean, that is that they could take the L in that case, but I don't think they'll let that happen. They have enough time to request the objectives. They're probably just fi uh, finalizing some of the stuff. I know that when we last looked at the site, there were just a few things that were wrong. Um, Like the tooltip didn't exactly display beside, it kind of displayed over it. And I saw that he was working on the lid here. He must have, he may have fixed the uh, the positioning of the lid so that it's not like covering the chocolate. But yeah, th this game introduces a lot of. Um, opportunities for user implementing good user experience so I like this because I, I kind of left some of this stuff open-ended to where like it would leave room for like errors in that case like making common U UX mistakes we finally have our array being written by bits please Looks like we're going to be targeting by the, the class name. We're doing the tool type text right within it. Immortal, I agree. I, I, I think they need to use some sort of unique um indicator well I, okay so the way m man css has it laid out is he actually has specific styles per chocolate class which html hasn't mirrored so i, I don't know if uh i so if i were m man i'd communicate that with html and let him know what he needs there um, but yeah, I, I agree that, like just having a general chocolate class would be ideal here, but like Especially when we have like duplicate styles like the width and height the, and the border radius. This is all It's all duplicate So that could be combined into a single class though the I pointed this out earlier and I think his thought process might be that he wants to eventually tweak these so that they have their own values which in that case you know wouldn't justify having a, a, a general class anymore so well, we'll see we'll see what they do because I, we already have a, an indication of a unique style here so we'll see yeah I agree that this does make it a little harder for CSS
So we have our five chocolate list array created here in JavaScript for the red team. Let's get a poll created here. If you guys hear my mechanical keyboard in the background, I do apologize. It's it's gonna be extremely louder than usual. Uh, I have the green switches on my Razer keyboard, and I'm actually getting this changed for a different keyboard that's uh, not as loud. This is pretty loud. Bulbasaur 300, thank you for the follow. Yeah, so Blue Team hasn't requested any objectives since then. What is this giant URL that Blue Team pasted here? It's for the box. It's probably a pattern. Oh wow, we ha we have a lot of images being pasted on the Red Team CSS. All right, let's take a look at the Blue Team's website. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now the bo now the lid actually sits above the box, which is nice. Okay, and we got rid of that that border that surrounded it. These D hand thank day hand, thank you for the follow. We have a poll in the in the chat if you guys wanna place your votes. See what Red Team's website looks like. Okay, we got that modal up here. Ooh, it's gotta be a tooltip though. It has to be beside the chocolate. Okay, so what? Okay, uh, regarding the whole like voting that we have in the chat, like it's interesting, like because I use tabs to indent, but I prefer having them overall in spaces, right? So I don't know, like I don't know if you guys are voting because you press tab or press space. I definitely don't press space. That's gross. I think what we're voting here is what do you want, like, what do you want the code to have in the end? Like, uh, do you want it to have actual tab uh, characters or a space character, like, at the end? Like, whether you press space or tab, whatever you do. 
So whatever it results to is what you should vote on. <laughs> I don't know. So I don't know. Some some developers out there, man, you'd be surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you guys hit spacebar ten times. Thirteen minutes left on the clock. Oh, basically fourteen. Oh, we got two objectives requested on the blue team. Let's have a look right now. Okay, so objective number one was to create a chocolate assortment box with three by four grid uh, with a lid in pure CSS. All right, right. So, so yep, the lid is in pure CSS. We do see an assortment here. I'm gonna refresh and see if there's a different assortment there is they do get the point for that let's let's give them the point so back to their website again uh create five different chocolates in pure css clicking the lid reveals the chocolate with an animation yep these are pure css chocolates although they are just circles but uh, i mean i'll give it to them i'll give it to them it's pure css it looks like chocolates oddly enough it's weird how a bunch of circles can look like chocolates. <laughs> Alright, that's three points on the blue team. Just so you know, red team is able to see that in their editor. They're able to see like the overview of time and score just like you guys are seeing it up there. So, it's a... Uh, the, uh, hopefully they're they're motivated to to get the easy ones at least completed so they have some points because So the last objective blue team needs to do is clicking a chocolate opens a tooltip beside the one you click to show its name and description. So they are, they do have that. Uh, I just don't know if they got the positioning part of it to work. And I'm assuming not just because of the fact that they haven't requested it yet. Wait, why does red have two boxes? Take a look here. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, so they do have two boxes, I guess. No, no they don't. They just have a, a bunch of lids. Just more lids than you need. Clicking these don't reveal the chocolate just yet, but obviously that is the idea. This box is starting to take shape. How many of you guys think Bits Please can pull off something here in the next? At least one object. At least one objective. I think he can do it. Oh, one generated and one hard coded. Good, good catch. So, 
So we're going to be converting that eventually to uh, a JavaScript generated one, which you're going to need to do just because of the fact that it has to be randomized. Uh, and since Asl didn't change his uh, code here, it's all kind of like one chalk one. Oh, he's commenting that out. Oh, it's it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. All right, they've officially moved over to the JavaScript generated one. And then we have, we actually have the template here on the blue team. Like they actually are using their HTML and then we're inserting into it, which is, um, a method that we I feel like we don't see often here on the show we normally just see what what just happened here on the red team is the static HTML eventually gets converted I love how asshole just like indented there like just made sure everything was lined up press F for respects <laughs> even though it's comments he's got to make it look pretty for you guys See where blue team's at right now. Okay. They still got some. I mean, uh, yeah, it's still a little finicky. It's showing beside it though, or is it? Like it disappears when I hover over it. <laughs> the eating animation that's cute they're really working on that bonus objective let's see the red team oh hold on this 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 is the generated uh, box here uh, now inserting each chocolate and opening these lids that's a different story though he is working on the click list the the event listener right now to actually get this to work so we have an active state that we're adding to it. Let's see what the active class does. Is it this that he's adding? You know, he's adding it to the chocolate, which I don't know if they, if he's adding, oh, here it is. So it's for the lid. It's confusing because they kind of have, they don't really have a naming system uh, that makes sense yeah like blue team's html kind of ma uh, uh it makes a lot more sense like I, I i get the way they structured this right so they're just targeting an active class that's just inside of this box in general and looks like we're activating this animation which is for the lid swing And it's going to rotate instead of sliding up, which is what I, I thought it was going to slide up. Oh, hold up. That was actually really cool. That actually looks good. It happened so fast that it... Wow. Is it random? Did he get the random in there yet? Oh. He did. Okay, so this is <laughs> some room for UX here. I wonder what they're going to do about that. These, uh, these boxes swing up so high that it covers the other chocolate. Uh, you know, what they could do is just, as long as I think you have a way to close the lid, then I think we're cool there. Oh my gosh, three objectives were just requested on the red team. Let's go right now. Um, so create a chocolate assortment box with the three by four grid for chocolates with the... Did I just read that? For chocolates with the lid and pure CSS. Okay, so. Uh, yep. I mean, that is a 3x4 grid. And uh, that is there is a lid. 
so in pure CSS, so they get the point there. Next objective, create five different chocolates in pure CSS, clicking the lid reveals a chocolate with an animation, they did do that. Randomly fill each slot with using the five different chocolates. Yep, I, I just wanna make sure that these are random. It is random. They're, they're gonna get all those points. Good job, red team. The triple objectives. How many of you guys are worried uh, about your your dev coins here? Who 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 uh who betted on the red team? Who had faith in the red team? <laughs> Please don't disqualify us or me. Why would uh? Oh. 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 Huh. I don't understand why he couldn't just add that. Why why blue team couldn't just have added that. He's active. He could just communicate that to him. So Three minutes left on the clock, not very much time. Um, blue team is so close. I know I know that they basically have the bonus objective done. I, I don't know if the reset actually works, though. It's not really the hardest thing to implement. Um, so I'm just going to assume that they're working on that uh, objective number four right now. Make Yep, they are, because I, I see that CSS is kind of adding some styles to the open state of that tooltip. Uh, they got to get those requests in right now. I wonder what the red team's working on. They don't have much time. I don't know if they just kind of gave up with the amount of time left. They certainly have s some things they could do within the short amount of time. But I think uh, uh, securing three objectives in the amount of time that they did is a major feat in itself. Uh, red team JavaScript is good. Doing something. I, I don't know what he's about to do right now, but he's about to do something. He's got two minutes. I saw him clicking around. I mean, I see that they have a modal, though. It can't be a modal. It has to be a tooltip. He might be trying to... Oh, yep. Show modal. He's about to do something with that. Alright, so they're, they're going for it. Red team's going for the objective number four. They definitely don't have time for the bonus objective. We're almost at 100 viewers, let's go. Stick around even after the game because you are going to be able to vote on which team has the best design. Bits was handicapped, he had 30 minutes less time. All right, one minute left on the clock. We are in the danger zone right now. Once the clock hits zero, they're going to be instant Lee locked out of their documents, so they have to make sure. Oh, they just completed objective number four. Let's check it out. Refresh the clock. Click this. Uh, click that. Tool tip. Oh, yeah, I mean, it does go beside it. Sometimes even over it. Oh wait, hold on. Why does that say white? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll give it to him. 
We're gonna leave the we're gonna leave that to UX. All right, they they have been locked out of their document. Game over. Good job, guys. Both teams. So what's gonna happen now is we're going to Oh, they 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 got the uh, bonus objective requested right before. All right, so we'll take a look at that real quick. I'm not gonna give it to him because when I double clicked one, hold on. Well, let me just. I'll, I'll give him a benefit of the doubt. Right, I'm gonna double click this one. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it to him. If it was a, if we were still on the clock, I, I really wouldn't. All right, so we're gonna go straight into reviewing the website. Uh, so let's do review UI. And, uh, could, hold on one sec. Remind me what the vote command is to start. All right, so, all right, so we're gonna be voting on UI. And so UI is base your votes on the overall design of the website. The interface should feel coherent with consistent use of elements. The website should be responsive, look good on mobile, and follow the theme box of chocolates. That's what we're looking at here today, guys. If you didn't already know, you can open this website by going to blue.dev or is that TV to see the website right away. I'm going to refresh it. We're not going to be able to test the responsiveness here on the show today. So that's why I'm relying on you to check it out on your mobile device or, or just use the emulator within your browser. Uh, but anyways, this is the design of the website. We got this floral background um, and then we're using like a wooden look and then we got a custom font in here imported. That's cool. Uh, now, then we have the chocolates in here as well. Uh, when I, This is what the tooltip looks like. We got the uh, the title here, and then we got like this red border around here, and then uh, yeah, I mean, not much to say other than that. The box, the the chocolate itself is just a circle. So it's just a circle. Um, yeah, so that is the uh, blue team's design in a nutshell. Again, I can't test the blue team's site on mobile on the show we're not set up to do that so definitely consider that in your votes we're going to be voting here soon this is the red team's website all right so the, their box is just a stripe pattern and then you know we have more stripe patterns on the, the, the actual lids themselves um box shadows within there to show like depth uh, another thing is that each chocolate actually has their own style. So while while some of them are just circles, we actually have some interesting styles here. Like this one is definitely uh, not a circle at all. And then we got an oval here. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's basically their... Oh, wait, hold on. Do they have a tooltip or modal? No, they do not. Okay, so that's their design in, in a nutshell as well. We're at 110 viewers. Let's go. All 110 viewers, let's get your votes in right now. Which team you think has the best design? Let's put this in a vertical orientation. I'm gonna load the sites up right now. Um, this is just a general view of it. All right, place your votes right now. The way you do that is type exclamation point blue or exclamation point red to vote. Check out the websites by going to red or blue.devwars.tv to vote. So, as you see on the voting bar, there is a threshold. If the bar crosses that threshold, they will secure another point. 
All you have to do is type blue or red. Please consider responsive design as well. Again, just want to remind you. A minute and 30 seconds left to vote. I want to see some more votes come in. It's as simple as typing exclamation point blue or red in the chat. Place your votes. We're voting on UI, which is design. The, dis that the definition of how you should vote is here on the screen on the left sidebar. Yeah, I think it's cool that red team uses grid. Literally the first time we've seen that here on the show. 50 seconds left to get your votes in. Twenty seconds. All right, that that concludes the votes for the UI phase. Next thing we're gonna look at is uh, UX. So UX is a little different in the fact that you have to base your votes on how you feel when interacting with the website. Should be simple to use, easy to navigate, look for things such as bugs, poor execution of functionality by way of design. I'm gonna be pointing out some UI stuff to UX stuff to you guys. Um, but you know look for look for stuff on your own if you find anything please post in in the chat as well so everyone else sees it um so we're not voting on ui guys we're not voting on design really like so like me opening this box is pretty nice right um all right i'm gonna click this box uh this circle or chocolate rather and it, a nice tooltip pops up i'm gonna click here and this tooltip pops up um you know, so this this is this here. Like, I would think that you know, I could click the tooltip to close it. Maybe not. I'm gonna click this. Okay, so clicking the chocolate closes it. Okay, now I could click this, but that kind of opened the milk one when I did that. I don't know. Maybe you guys have better luck when you click this, but for me, like, I'm clicking this and it's opening the coconut tooltip. Clicking this tooltip, or sorry. Okay, all right. It's a little bug. It's a little bug. <laughs> no, it's a feature. Um, okay. So, yeah, that is... Oh, all right, I'm going to try double-clicking now. So, that eats it. And when I double-click, it registers as a tooltip click, too. So, I just kind of want to see what happens when I... Does it actually reset? I'm curious. Oh, it closes the box. And anyway, anyway, that's cool. I like that they did that. Uh, it's just uh, a little buggy on the which one you clicked. <laughs> it's an Easter egg. All right. Red team now. Let's see what red team site looks like. So they're, they approach it a little different. They don't have a single lid. Instead, they have a um, like little flaps. And, you know, I could open each one of these and there's different chocolates in here. Now, one of the things I want to point out here is when you... Uh, here, let's refresh the page. So like here in this case if I want to open this one up here I can but now I can't see what's in there So that's another thing to consider is that the design of this kind of didn't factor in the fact that the lid gets covered 
one of the solutions they could have had is the ability to close the lid. I think that would have made it a um, little better. But you know, it's once you once you uh, open it, you can't close it, so it's a little frustrating in that regard. Um, there's I like the animation when it opens; it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, uh, double clicking like no tooltips. They didn't get that far there, so can't really um, criti criticize them on that subject. That looks like the Assassin's Creed logo for some reason. All right, so that is all I can say about the the red team. I'm gonna go ahead and start the the vote for UX. Go ahead and place your votes now. You're not voting on design, voting on user experience. Thank you for the new follow. One minute and 30 seconds left. Get your votes in. It's blue or red in the chat. Fifty seconds left. Blue or red? We could use some more votes here. Twenty seconds. So, everyone who voted blue uh, or betted on blue, um, obviously, you guys cashed out big time. Um, I do think we should probably put something in place where, you know, in the event where there's a clear disadvantage, you know, we don't, we don't, either we don't award the points or we re uh, reduce the amount of uh, coins that you get. But in this case, you guys are going to cash out. So today's your lucky day. Um, we're going to go to the score page to see the overall scores. Congratulations, blue team. Uh, almost scored the bonus objective there. Nearly scored a perfect score in the UX phase. Um, I think if they had uh, worked out some of those bugs that we saw earlier, I think we would have seen a perfect score there. Um, and then also uh, red team... Uh, you know, had a, had a, if some of you guys are tuning in a little late, uh, but, uh, I just want to fill you in. So like the first 30 minutes of the game, uh, we had some, uh, inactivity on the JavaScript, uh, JavaScript player was nervous, uh, but fortunately we were able to get bits please to fill his spot in the third, uh, remainder of the time. And he was actually able to pull off three objectives within that amount of time, which is, 
which is actually really amazing. So uh, that's cool that we were able to see that. Yeah, uh, that is the conclusion of today's show. So if you guys enjoy the show, we're going to be doing this uh, on the 26th of this month. So two weeks from now, we do this every other Saturday, though uh, I'm not going to be able to do it the Saturday after because I'm actually leaving the country for two weeks, literally on the 26th, starting the 26th. So, but we are going to have a game on the 26th. So we're going to stick to our schedule uh, one more time. And then uh, I'm not sure what we're going to, when the next game is going to be. It's not going to be on the 9th. Um, it might have to be, I don't know. We'll let you guys know. Uh, if you guys fo- uh, are in our Discord, we're going to be posting an announcement there. So you'll be the first to know there. And obviously we'll post the schedule on the, the website when we have it uh, but for sure if you come and tune in on the next show which is on the 26th two weeks from now we start at the same time all the time 17 UTC so we'll, we'll know by then we'll know by then <laughs> since I come to Canada to see I might I, I'm leaving the country I don't know I might run into some of you guys out there who knows just don't don't hurt me. Excellent game though. All right, I want to thank all of your viewerships, and uh, yeah, I hope to I hope that we have some more competitors, some new faces out there, uh, join in our next game. You can actually sign up to compete ahead of time. I would really um, rec- encourage you to do so. Uh, and please, if you sign up, please show up. Uh, p- please be ready to show up. Uh, I mean, it's a common thing that we see here is you know people will sign up. We have a lot of signups. They just don't show up on the day that they uh, you know committed to. So please, if you're gonna sign up, please commit to that day. All right. Love you guys. I see you all in two weeks. Peace.